Musician Kevin Pearson was diagnosed with ADHD 15 years ago at the age of 45. He takes regular medication to manage his symptoms, such as difficulty focusing and restlessness. But in recent weeks, he struggled to get hold of them due to the drugs being in short supply. I was frightened to go on it because the fact that if I couldn't guarantee it would continue, then I'd be in a worse position than when I started. I'd be better off without going on it. It's like just setting you up to fail. Kevin's situation is far from unique. At Rimington's pharmacy in Bradford, they've been helping patients for nearly 200 years. But in the last few months, they've struggled to track down the medicines people need for a wide range of conditions like epilepsy, ADHD and diabetes. For certain conditions, it's vital for the patient. And for certain medications, it's important that they stay on the same brand. However, um, it's just an increasing problem. New figures from the National Pharmacy Association found the number of serious shortage alerts being sent to pharmacists has gone up from 15 between 2019 and 2021 to 50 in the last two years, putting pressure on an already stretched service. We think it's fluctuations in prices, exchange rates, uh, manufacturing problems. Um, but actually, as well, in the UK, it's really important to say that we probably pay less for our medicines compared to equivalent other Western nations. And we think that this visibility of the problems of the supply chain is part of the both chronic underfunding of the medicine supply chain uh, and community pharmacy over the last 10 years. The National Pharmacy Association is now calling on political leaders and the NHS to take urgent action to better fund pharmacists in our communities across the UK. They say that way it will help stabilise the UK's medicine supply chain. For patients like Kevin, that can't happen soon enough. For him, drug shortages aren't only worrying, they could also be dangerous. Charlotte Leeming, Sky News, Bradford.